Hey guys, and welcome back to Laman Builds. Sorry this one took so long to get out, but I've been really busy recently and haven't had much time to build, let alone edit. But somehow I've managed to get another episode of Building Kingsworthy out for you because you seem to like it so much. In this episode, we'll be making a start on Kingsworthy's High Street, which takes centre stage in the commercial area of the city, and I just couldn't wait to start work on it. This first house we're tackling is not actually part of the High Street. It's still on Mincer Street, which forms part of the Cathedral Green, which we've built in a past episode. It's this really beautiful Georgian townhouse from Winchester with a really nice painted front, which I can't lie, I did mistake for stucco the first time I saw it. I use stone and andesite for it, as it allows me to use andesite walls for the central window that fell victim to window tax, and also for the large parapet on top. This house is just a very simple and straightforward build, but having filler houses like this helps to break up all the standout buildings in my opinion. This next building is a cafe in real life, and it commands a really nice position overlooking the cathedral, which I felt was a really nice spot to put it in Kingsworthy. It sports my favourite block combo at the moment, which is bricks and birch, because for some reason this just makes the builds feel really clean and warm, and for me it's a welcome change from all those white and bricks. The alley next to this house took a lot of figuring out. I didn't know whether to have pavements on either side, or on one side, or none at all, and it wasn't until I figured out the road next to it that I worked out how to do it. These next few shops are part of St James's Road, based off the square in Winchester, which is a little shopping area that borders the Cathedral Green. All these buildings are Georgian, in keeping with the style of the area, and are all large brick buildings, which is the feel that I want to create with this street. This shop that I made out of walls was particularly annoying to build as I had to repeatedly debug the walls because every time I would move anything that touched a wall or the cornice it would reset all my debugs so I had to go over and over and over debugging it which was annoying but I think it turned out well.
This next building is also from Winchester, like, what a surprise, but it's quite an interesting one as part of the facade juts forward and it has this little passage underneath which has these huge beams on either side which just looks great when you walk through it. The shop at the bottom took a long time to sort out, whilst the rest was quite straightforward as I couldn't decide what colour to make it, but in the end I decided on using sandstone, as it isn't a two in your face colour. This building's probably 15th century, and it's cool because it wasn't refaced like many were in the Georgian and Victorian periods. Instead of being fully refaced, it just gained a bow window, which is something which I want to build more of as we go down the high street. The side of this one isn't actually filled in because I need to build the building next to it to grasp what I want to put there, but for now this is what I've got and in a following episode some, somewhere down the line you'll probably see it filled in and another house there and I can't wait to do that. This one here, on the other hand, is just a simple brick building and is one I came up with myself. It's not impressive by any means because it's just a filler building, but it gets the job done. These next few buildings I took directly from Winchester as I want to make the high street feel just like Winchester so I may have stole a few buildings from there but I'm sure it'll be fine. This one is a very nice large Georgian shop with a huge Palladian style window in the centre that took quite a few times to get right, but I got there in the end. The facade in general is quite flat, so after I finished it I went back and added some trapdoors to act as a stool, which is basically an outside window sill, and also to act as a cornice up above. This impressive building is based off the Lloyds Bank in Winchester that used to be the old Guildhall before the current one was built. The new one is an incredible gothic building that was built in the 1870s which I will build at some point. This one though was built in 1713 and has these beautiful columns and a huge clock which dates back to the end of the 19th century. I couldn't completely recreate the clock but I tried many times as you'll see but I'm happy with how it turned out. It also has this really large cupola, which took me a lot of time to get right, but this is something else that I want to build more of as we expand the city.
Now it's onto the backs of these buildings. I couldn't complete the back of the old guild hall and all those buildings because there'll be other buildings backing onto them and I just don't want to make this episode too long and make it even more delayed by building them as well. For this one, I wanted to make it have a fairly industrial feel with the winch winching up crates as these were quite common in the early 1900s and it makes the city feel as though it has a thriving industry. That brings this episode of Building Kingsworthy to a close. This one wasn't as long as the other ones, but I really like all that I built, especially the old guild hall, which I just love. The channel has been growing so quickly recently, and I have a proper 500 sub special build planned out, which is part of the reason this took so long to get out, because I've been working on that a bit, and actually earlier today I was working on it as well, so you better get ready, it is a really good one. This episode took me a long time to make, so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.